Hi honey, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is B, and in today's reading, we are going to be uncovering who is your future spouse. I will be looking at physical descriptions of your future spouse. We'll also be looking into the personality of your future spouse. We'll see what the connection looks like between you and your future spouse. And I'll also be reading a letter from your future spouse as well. That's really cool. I love that part of the reading. And lastly i'll be pulling some initials there is an extended reading for this as well all the links are down below we have option one with the golden ring option two with the pink ring and option three with the blue and purple ring so timestamps are always down below remember if you enjoy this pick a card don't forget to leave me a like comment and also consider subscribing so you join my honeybee tribe and i'll see you at your pile bye Hi pile number one, welcome to my channel, welcome to your pile. My name is B, and in today's reading we are going to be figuring out your future spouse. So we are going to get started with the image that you chose and I am going to show you a larger image of that now on your screen. And I'm going to get this reading started by describing you, my viewer. If I do an accurate job, then you are in the right pile today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Pile number one, you chose this gorgeous golden ring. Okay, this gorgeous golden wedding ring. So, already I'm picking up based on your choice. You are chic. You are classy. You have an authentic look to you that is classy and chic mixed together. And I'm also picking up on your personality. You can be very fiery and spicy at times. So it's possible that you could have some fire placements somewhere in your zodiac birth chart. Also, I'm picking up here, uh, you could be interested in moving soon or you're just moving things around your house. But I am seeing some boxes and I'm seeing um, a sign that says decluttering. So this could be metaphoric to you just removing things that no longer serve you from your life or this could genuinely be a move that you are making right now in your lifetime you're also very connected to the moon and the cycles of the moon i'm hearing that if you are able to menstruate then your cycle is um attuned to the moon and depending on what the moon cycle is that's really going to determine your mood your stability it's also going to determine the way that your hair looks as well something about if the moon is at a certain phase you're having a really good hair day but if the moon is in another certain phase for you that's when you notice you have like bad luck and your hair looks bad and you might be trying to do your makeup and it doesn't come out right so you are very connected to the moon cycles and your life is ever evolving and ever changing because of the moon so this is very specific but you like the way that you look in the mirror but you don't really always like the way that you look 
on camera so it's almost like that saying goes where you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like okay i look good i like the way i look but then somebody takes a picture of you and then you're like okay wait what went wrong from point a to point b i like the way i looked in the mirror how come i look like this on camera so if that sounds like you hey you're in the right pile let's keep digging on deeper picking up here you have a beautiful smile and you have very healthy teeth um, you have some sparkling teeth the fact that you chose this beautiful golden ring i mean this talks about your golden personality so you are i'm hearing very easy to get along with and you also have a super calming and really enlightening presence that a lot of people feel comfortable to be around so you are shining and bright like the sun wouldn't be surprised if you had some type of leo placement again some type of fire placement leo sagittarius or aries somewhere in your birth chart um if you don't then this is more so just speaking to the fact that you have this beautiful personality personality like the sun and you attract a lot of different people that like to come and talk to you that like to socialize with you that like to get to know you because you have a really friendly and beautiful personality that a lot of people vibe with you're also sensual and sensitive and you sign really really bright that it makes you want to heal other people your aura i'm also hearing is very gorgeous you could have a golden aura you have a free and open mind you're very creative you're naturally very smart and you are a give equal give and equal take person so if somebody gives something to you you're always going to make sure that you give something back you don't just take also i am hearing for you pile number one you get a lot of attention because of your body this could be sometimes unwanted attention you might get a lot of attention because people find you to be attractive physically um, picking up though when it comes to that you have such an innocent personality that you're you don't look at others in this way in the sexual type of way but people do look at you a lot in that way you're also an adventurous person um, i'm hearing that for you pal number one you know that life could end at any moment and so you take every opportunity you can possible to live the life that you want without any type of limitation so you are very adventurous so you can be a bit stubborn um i'm seeing that when you're told to do something you might do the opposite on purpose okay so if somebody tells you like hey go pick that up you're not going to pick that up until you feel like it or if somebody says hey read this you're not going to read that if there's like a popular movie or something like that that everyone is seeing you're going to stay away from that until you want to go and see that movie yourself <laughs> so you can be really stubborn all right i'm also picking up um something really big this is the last message to determine if this is your pile you are considering yourself to be in a twin flame connection with this particular person that is your future spouse and you think about this person a lot and you also think about the connection you share with them constantly in your mind i'm also channeling that song mirrors by justin timberlake and just know this is your confirmation you have found the one um, this connection has not been easy it has been stressful and painful it's been a long journey but that is um your description so if i described you accurately then you are in the right pile today and let's go ahead and get the information on who is your future spouse okay we are going to start off with pulling some descriptions from my little description what would you call this like my little description basket little tiny baby basket and we're going to see we're going to allow the descriptions to describe your future spouse anything could come out in this it could be about their personality could be about their hair color could also be some messages from spirit as well and there could also be um life path numbers that show up or even synchronicity numbers that show up too all right we have our descriptions 
let's go ahead and go through them okay pile number one just so you are aware in my extended reading all of these descriptions i have created an image of what your future spouse looks like so if you're interested definitely go check out the extended because that will dive in deeper to show you an actual picture of what i was channeling as to what they look like instead of just reading the descriptions okay if you're interested the link is down below so already we have quiet voice rectangle face shape round face shape five 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 round eyes black hair sleeveless shirt small fearless poker face 888 good eyesight so i know that this says good eyesight but i was actually in my mind's eye seeing somebody who could potentially wear glasses so even though this talks about good eyesight when i read that small description card i'm actually thinking more so of like their third eye so they might have a very opened third eye keep in mind since you are a twin flame you could feel like i'm describing you and that's totally normal it happens even in the image that i was channeling for um the drawing that i did um that could also look like you as well keep that in mind too we have sad brown eyes brown eyebrows antisocial mother figure sexual hairy golden brown hair ego is in the way of this connection they are a pure individual pure mind pure heart lonely downturned eyes scorpio raspy voice could wear a ponytail they're smart they can be selfish they like to wear button-ups we also have union is here we have small lips artist rare dentist and lots of love between the both of you so if you need to go ahead and pause the video to really look at all the descriptions and get a better idea of what your future spouse looks like or even what they act like um, go ahead and pause the video time now all right pile number one so it's time for us to go ahead and get into the personality of your future spouse so let's go ahead and see what type of personality your future spouse has all right already we have sold physical location change moving which i did call that out already at the very beginning something about moving here is very significant we also have adore admire looks up to you enchanted love we have summer, so they could possibly be born in summer or something significant could be happening in summer. And we also have air showing up as well. So they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or they could have that somewhere in their birth placement. Okay, so pile number one. The personality of your person, your future spouse, is somebody who is going to want to have a secure home with you this is somebody that's going to admire stability security and making sure that their family is set if they are marrying you they are going to consider you their family they are not just going to look at you as okay this is my partner no in you they see their family in you they see their forever so that's starting out with number one card number one number two talks about their fun side their fun personality they can be flirty they can also be very romantic and i am seeing that this individual is somebody who they do think before they speak a lot of the times which is great because this is going to be somebody that likes to avoid conflict they want to keep the harmony in the relationship that they share with you. I'm also seeing something here about them 
often reflecting on the past which can bring down their mood because uh, something in their past haunts them and even terrifies them so they could suffer with some type of PTSD or some type of depression uh, they are clumsy and they can be unbalanced so you will see this person drop things or splatter food on themselves and that's really funny pile number one but yeah i'm seeing if you guys were to ever go to a restaurant or something and you see the way that this person eats your first reaction to them eating would be like oh my gosh they were they raised in a barn okay why are they eating like such <laughs> that's really funny um yeah i'm seeing that they're definitely the type to splatter food on their clothes especially if they're wearing something white this person is going to like ruin said white shirt or white pants something about the color white this person cannot be around anything white because they will like drop food on it or get a little scuff mark on it or something like that they doubt a lot of their own abilities because they allow what others to say get the best of them so when it comes to communicating with others if somebody gives this person their opinion on something they are going to take it too close to the heart and this person it, um, tends to doubt themselves a lot but just know your person pal number one is incredibly intelligent um, and has some amazing ideas and also has a lot of talents within them too so this is going to be somebody where you'll you'll have to encourage them pile number one even when a lot of people are telling this person like no you're not doing a good job or don't do this you should do that you're gonna have to really turn to your person and say hey what you're doing is amazing everyone is gonna have their opinions that are around you but you're doing a good job and you should feel really proud of yourself for the good job that you're doing so that is going to be a way that you're going to have to talk to your partner um, a lot of the times is just encouraging them letting them know that they're on the right path because they do tend to get let others get the best of them um i'm also picking up as well something really adorable about your person because they have a hard time making decisions on their own um they're going to let you most likely choose where you guys eat a lot of the times so let's say you guys are planning to go out to eat somewhere this person is going to say like oh i don't mind oh uh, it's wherever you want to go to eat okay because they do have a hard time with making decisions a lot of the times so you are going to notice that about your person it's like they always allow you to make the decisions when it comes to going out eating different places even decisions in the house like this person really does want a house with you that's just a given some of you that could be where you're moving and you're moving in with this person already not all of you just some of you um but i am picking up they would even let you pick out the house they'd be like whatever makes you happy honey i'll give it to you okay so if you guys are looking at houses or even apartments or just places to live this person's gonna be like oh, the decision is all yours like i'll give you what it is that you want you just ask and i'll give it to you this person likes driving so a lot of the times i expect that this person is going to be the one driving um i picking up that a lot of feminines chose pile number one we have like a few masculines so if you're a masculine you might be the one being described and that happens sometimes um so you could feel like i'm describing you instead of your person but that's because we have the majority of our viewers being divine feminines so the majority of the energy will always win over the minority so yes pile number one this person will not let you drive this person is going to be the one who is driving you everywhere um and it's not like a controlling type of way it's a more like i will pump the gas i will drive where do you need to go i will take you there is some trauma when it comes to driving that this person has there's like some ptsd so they could have potentially lost somebody that um they loved very near and dear or this could even be a future prediction if this hasn't happened yet for this person which is something that i hate predicting but it is in the cards and i do see it um this person might lose somebody or has already lost somebody due to some type of um, driving accident 
So because of that, this person is also going to be very peculiar, particular about you driving, um, about the way that you're driving too. If you ever drive with this person and you're the one who's driving, they're going to be like very cautious, looking around at the other cars, making sure that the other cars are acting appropriately to be around their queen because they are going to view you as their queen. We have death here alluding to this person's past so let's dive deeper into their past which is something that they don't like to get into but we're gonna dive deeper to see what we can pull up okay we have the hierophant here with the strength card we also have the empress so this person has some type of issues with a motherly figure this is um encoded in their past this is something that they don't like to look upon this could be a previous marriage or a previous relationship that they were in or this could just be a family dynamic with their mother or even their family talking about how they had to really use a lot of their strength to move out of the situation that was detrimental to their health and their well-being i'm seeing that this person has had not an easy life a very difficult one actually that's why this person is so strong pile number one you're gonna notice that this person is strong emotionally you're gonna also notice that they're strong mentally and they are strong because they have inherited this from all the trials and the tribulations that they have been through this person could have faced abuse they could have also faced um, could have served time in the military as well really harsh circumstances where they have had to use this inner strength almost like they had to call upon god god's source to lean on their strength lean on that deity strength to pull them through really hard times but i am seeing that now this person is very successful they have healed from this past that they have been through could also be talking or alluding to the fact that this person had to heal from a lot of losses that they've experienced losses with those who have passed over and are no longer here not everything is serious with this person though with the page of cups here paired with summer and air and the door this person has such a funny personality they can be a huge comedian and this is somebody who's going to make you laugh all the time when i say all the time i truly mean all the time this person can be a bit of a goofball they also have this adorable romantic cheeky side to them too where they can be sarcastic and funny and this is just somebody who's going to bring out the life in you pal number one that's why you're going to marry them because not only are they strong not only are they somebody who is um romantic and very caring but they're also funny this person has won your heart over their funniness okay over their ability to be a comedian and i'm seeing that that's how you're going to fall in love with this person is you're going to be so in love with the way that they make you laugh and the way that they make you see the positives in your life Picking up for you, pal number one, your life hasn't been easy as well. Your life has been very difficult, up and down with a lot of challenges, a lot of loss yourself. This is your twin. This is your um, mirrored half, your mirrored soul. If you don't like the term twin flame or you feel like you're not a twin, this is just somebody who mirrors you very closely. And so because of that mirroring energy, those life experiences are going to be very similar where they have experienced loss you have also experienced loss there as well and where they have experienced pain you have also experienced that similar pain as well so that's what's really going to bond you at first but then what's really going to seal the deal is the way that this person shows their romanticism towards you and also um i just split the deck we got the ten of cups with the three of wands just beautifully romantic energy just a bunch of loving family oriented energy with this person but their comedic side as well that's really going to seal the deal you're not going to be able to be angry with this person for long because 
halfway through an argument this person's gonna turn to you and crack a joke and you're you're gonna be like stop laughing it's not funny and then the both of you are going to be laughing and you're gonna forget why you were angry in the first place this person is a team player um they don't like arguments they like harmonious connections so they're often going to make things harmonious okay let's go ahead and let's see uh what does the connection look like between you guys right now oof okay we have the ace of cups let's dive deeper so where the connection is right now is not the best okay let's just put that out there right away and i hear some of you giggling because you saw the cards we have the ace of cups in reverse with the nine of swords let's dive even deeper all right with the four of cups but we do have the lovers here so there is some unsteady and balanced energy there is right now in this current connection the way that the connection looks between you guys is there's some struggle here there is some bickering there's some back and forth stress with this type of connection i don't think you guys are on the best terms right now and i said think but i was only being polite let's be real the connection is not on good terms at all right now they just got a confirmation burp no communication is happening between you and your person no communication is happening right now because i'm picking up here you both needed your space there goes my throat chakra going in and out you both needed your space and you both needed your time to think and you're still in that time period of separation so you are currently in separation with this person there is no communication right now um, i'm picking up here that even though there's no communication in this connection it's almost like this connection is destined to be regardless of what's happening so even though the two of you may not be seeing eye to eye right now and you're both as equally upset with one another as imaginable i do feel like with the lover's card here it's just a promise okay this is almost like a soul contract promise and it's not one of those soul contracts where it's like evil and it's karmic no this is actually very beautiful i think that right now in this separation that you're in with this person it's helping you to grow it's helping you to give birth to yourself who you really want to be this time period and this time separation that you are in with your person is divinely orchestrated and i'm seeing that the longer you spend in this separation period with your person the more it's making the both of you in your connection stronger i know that must seem redundant and a little bit of an oxymoron because you would think well if there's a lot of space and a lot of distance between us wouldn't that make our connection fall away or fade away and not necessarily pile number one i am picking up for you this space is needed this separation is needed it's needed and it's divinely orchestrated for both your growth and your person's growth in a twin flame connection or a mirror soul connection it's a very intense connection that requires a lot of inner journey sometimes a lot of journeys of solitude going on your own in your own direction finding out who you are again finding out what it is that you like what it is that you don't like reflecting on the connection and figuring out what parts of it can use improvement or what parts of it do you really enjoy so although the connection may not be in the best terms right now it is something that's still salvageable and it's also very beautiful there is some beautiful energy here okay all right so pile number one let's go ahead and let's move into the love letter from your future spouse this is a very short love letter and just a disclaimer there is talk of pregnancy okay throughout this entire pile i have been channeling nothing but pregnancy so intensely nothing like it all the other messages that i got of you guys having a hard time right now being in separation right now being very stressed about that right now that's all there the message is there but more so i'm getting pregnancy that message came through very strong so just be aware if you are not looking to get pregnant or if you cannot get pregnant you can just go ahead and ignore the messages of pregnancy but for a lot of you that are out there i strongly feel like in this pile this is who you are going to have children with so here is this short love letter from your future spouse 
I have always loved you ever since I met you. You're the only person who has my whole heart besides our kids. I'm so fiercely loyal to you and I'd do just about anything you ask of me. Getting married to you is the best day of my life, right next to being a parent to our precious kids. Something funny that I can say is when you catch an attitude, everyone in the house knows to run with an exclamation mark, lol. You are an excellent at decorating and you decorated our house so nicely. I love the place we live in because deep down, I know it doesn't matter where I go or where I will go, you'll always be my home. It wasn't easy to get here in this calm space that we are in. We had our challenges and our ups and downs, but we did absolutely everything to make our life count together. We made things work as a team and we will always work as a team. You are the best partner I could have ever asked for. P.S. You look so cute pregnant. All right, so that was the uh, love letter from your future spouse. Let's go ahead and pull some loving messages and then we'll get some initials and that's how we'll close out your reading. So loving messages from your person. We have end game. I'm in this with you for life. No matter the obstacles, I know what I want. Your voice is the sweetest music I've ever heard. I'm talking to you through music. I want you to know that I miss you. When I visit our favorite place or listen to the songs we shared is when I miss you the most. We have yummy. I want you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've got that stamina for days. So this person definitely misses you physically. We also have cloud nine. You are my heaven on earth. I swear, keep it shot me in the butt. LOL. My nose is getting very ticklish. So just know this person is thinking of you at this time in this moment that you're watching this. And that's also my confirmation that this person is going to be coming back. I am afraid of emotional intimacy. It's something that I am not used to. Sorry for always pushing you away. I know you just want to help. I have been extremely immature with my emotions lately. I have an attitude and a temper. Hashtag accountability. So this person has to take accountability for their temper and their immaturity when it comes to their emotions. I hope I don't sound crazy, but I call you my baby. Even if it's unofficial, you're all mine. I'm so curious about you. I want to get to know the real you. I live for your beautiful smile and your unique soul. I fall deeper and deeper in love with you when I make you smile. The first time I laid my eyes on you, it was love at first sight. I can't forget about you. I promise, forever and always, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, I'm in this with you. And this is actually my marriage card. You got two marriage cards that came out. You got the end game, and then you got the I promise forever and always. So that is going to be the love messages from your person. Okay, pile number one. In my extended, if you want more loving messages, I have a deeper, in-depth, extremely in-depth love letter from this person. So you can go ahead and check that out in my extended. And let's go ahead and pull the initials for your pile, and that'll be it for your reading. Okay, the initials, they get really loud, so I am going to remove the noise time now. All right, pile number one. So here are your initials. We have U U B O X. That spells box, by the way. S X O T Q P I M F T T R N E V D I M R M X X U Y Z F B A C R D D H W N L H D P F C Z W G E. So those are the initials. You can hear my baby jalapeno in the background. He's really communicative and talking. So there's something also significant about pets. I wouldn't be surprised, number one, if you are a huge animal lover or maybe you have your own dog as well that you care for and admire. That's my omen when he starts making noises in the background and he starts barking like that. Okay, pile number one. That was your reading. I really hope that you enjoyed that. 
hi there thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for coming to my channel on your screen i have a bunch of different information as to how you can watch the extended in the extended i will be getting deeper into a channeled message from your person right now in this moment so what does your person want to say to you right now you can either watch through my youtube membership or through my patreon subscription it's entirely up to you all the links for that are down below. Also, in the extended, I will be showing you the images of your future spouse that I was channeling. So, if you're interested, again, all links are down below. My social media information is also on the screen for you as well. It is going to be my Instagram account. It's the only Instagram account I have at Sugar and Wine. If you are interested in getting a personal reading done by me, personal readings done by me are usually done through Zoom. Or if you want, I do have a pre-recorded option as well. My email address is on the screen for you. You can go ahead and send me a message, ask me what my rates are, and we can have a conversation about what you need clarity on. So honeys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. And like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye! Hey pile number two, welcome to my channel, welcome to your pile. My name is B, and in today's reading we are going to be figuring out who is your future spouse. So, pile number two, you chose this gorgeous pink wedding ring, and I am going to show you a larger image of that on your screen now, and I'm going to get this reading started by describing you as a person. If I do an accurate job, then you chose the right pile today. Pile number two, you are definitely a wild card. I'm seeing that although you chose this color that resembles peace and serenity and love, you are somebody that can be wild and rambunctious. You have this style to you where you always know what it is that you want. Even at times where you feel confused about life or you feel very unsure about what direction it is that you're going in. You always find a way to make things work for you. And you always find your direction back on the right path. I am picking up for you pile number two. You are somebody that likes to have adventures and you like to have fun. You also hate boring, okay? You don't like boring. You don't like doing the same routine over and over and over. You like to switch things up. So one moment you're doing a certain hobby a particular way but then the next moment you do that hobby entirely differently let's say that you have like a beauty routine which i am seeing for you pile number two you definitely have a beauty routine that you are often doing so if you start off doing your uh, skincare first and you do your nail care next the next day you'll switch it up and you do your nail care and then you'll do your skin care. It's like you have to be changing up your routine otherwise you'll get very bored and you'll lose all interest doing that routine. So that's something that's very specific to you, pile number two. I'm also picking up it's not a coincidence that you chose pile number two. Lots of twin flames are attracted to my ch my channel, particularly because um, there is this talk of mirrored souls and there is this open community that I have. So for you, pile number two, you are definitely in a mirrored soul connection. A lot of times when you hear me speak on your connection, you're going to feel as though I'm describing you. And that happens often on my channel because there are a lot of mirrored souls that come searching for answers and for clarity so at times when i'm describing you just keep in mind that i'm also giving you hints about your person as well i felt a couple of you roll your eyes when i said um twin flame so i know that you are very familiar with being in a twin flame connection and i'm also very very certain that in your twin flame connection it has been nothing but a roller coaster for you not easy it's not been something where i'm hearing some of you say i would not wish this on anyone <laughs> so 
you know about being in a mirrored soul connection and you definitely know that it is difficult i'm also picking up here as well you have a lot of love for this person in particular you already love them you already know who they are but there is this hot and cold energy of one moment you love them and then the next you really wish that you could slap them without any type of consequences so it's that hot and cold back and forth energy um at this point as i'm describing you i am fairly certain that you already have a good idea of who it is that i'm going to be describing for your future spouse but let's go ahead and pry deeper into who you are i'm seeing the initial m it's standing out very clearly i'm also seeing the initials v a and w in the ring so that could be your initials that could be your twin flames initials take whatever resonates for you i'm also picking up here too the fact that you chose this ring in particular you chose this ring because it resembles a big chunk of what type of wedding ring you want i am picking up for this pile you have fantasized a lot about your wedding day you have this idea of what you want your wedding day to look like and you have already had this fantasy about getting married to this particular person so pile number two if i described you and your situation accurately then you are in the right pile today and let's go ahead and get into our next portion of the reading which is pulling some physical descriptions for your future spouse all right pile number two so it's time to get into the physical description so let's go ahead and shuffle from my little pink basket keep in mind anything could come out we could get a number that symbolizes your future spouse's life path number we could also get some messages from spirit so let's go ahead and shuffle and see what comes out <clears throat> all right so i got a really nice handful here and we're just gonna go through the list i'm gonna try my best to lay it out as nicely as possible okay first card out we have thick so this person could be thick they could like to wear flannels whoa we have tall five six two six two tube tops angel jersey shirt religious nurse we also have drunk free spirit shadow self v-neck shirts a message from spirit angels stand with you loyal eyeliner seductive sneakers soulmate glasses celestial being divinely protected cancer the number one older envious flats 222 we also have daddy showing up here so this person could like to be called daddy 1221 heart face shape chaser kind big eyes starstruck okay we have so many i'm gonna have to start overlapping so if you want to now's your time to pause so that you can go ahead and take a look at what we already have but we have heartbreaker serious oh we also have twin flame showing up here twin flame tattoos a student confident good eyesight round eyes ponytail 
black hair, <clears throat> white teeth, rectangle face shape, hard times will pass, that's a message from spirit, a leader, blonde eyebrows, quiet voice, smart, we have a message from them to you. Do you care about me? Artist. Athlete. Down to earth. The number is 666. We also have rough skin. And we have one more. This one is going to be, ooh, <laughs> immature. Okay. All right. So those are the physical descriptions of your future spouse. Now is the time to pause the video and reflect on everything that we got. If you want to dive deeper. So pile number two, I'm not shocked that we got the twin flame card for you either. Because like I was saying in the very intro when I was describing you as a person, I did mention that you feel like you are in a twin flame connection that you are in a mirrored soul connection so that's really cool that it came out um if you're interested pal number two in my extended not only are we pulling physical descriptions but in the extended i did draw or create a visual for you on what i was channeling as to what your future spouse looks like um, I have a picture for what the Divine Masculine looks like, and I have a picture for the Divine Feminine, what the Divine Feminine looks like. So if you're interested, the links are down below. And when you join, you also get access to all my other videos. So just a heads up. All right, we are going to move on to our next topic. Pile number two, let's go ahead and let's see the personality of your future spouse. So let's get right into it. I already have your cards all nicely shuffled, and let's see what is the personality of pile number two's future spouse. We have the seven of pentacles, the five, um, oh wow, I almost said the five of swords, okay, we'll take that as an omen, the page of swords, the queen of swords, judgment, let's get a few more cards. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups in the reverse position, one more card, we'll take the Lovers, and this card is peeking out at me, it's going to be the High Priestess card, so we'll take that out as well. Okay, the initials B and J could be very significant, um, and we have some symbolism representing the twin flame connection that you are in the lover's card is the gemini card which represents the twins so we have two pillars with the high priestess we also have the two figures in the lover's card beautiful okay so let's get into the personality all right so already i'm picking up that they are snarky and they can be sarcastic with that queen of swords there and the page of swords this person is somebody who is used to using their vocabulary in very creative ways we'll just say that they're very intelligent and witty so this person has a lot going on in their mind space and they can tend to overthink but not only do they overthink about all types of situations they also are very intelligent as well and they can keep up in strong conversations so they are intelligent and they are witty they also love to communicate your future spouse is somebody who is a chatterbox chatter 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 so this person is going to want to talk about everything with you and they're going to want to socialize with you. I feel like this person's love language has to do with um, having conversations. So the more that this person is talking or conversing with you, that's how you know that they're really into you. And that's how you know that they're really into the conversation as well. They love to chat. They love to talk. Um, there's also somebody that likes to move their hands a lot when they communicate too. I'm also seeing with the good comes the bad pile number two. And this person has a bad habit of talking before they think. 
So be cautious because again, their tongue can be very sharp, very quick witted. Uh, they make wise decisions here with the judgment card though, which is something that I like because they are very smart. So they make wise decisions, but at the same time, I'm also picking up here in this judgment card that this person tends to judge people a little bit too quickly. And that's something that you'll notice is like, you'll have to turn to this person and say, hey, like, don't judge so harshly. You don't know the situation or don't say this about that person unless you really know. So that's also something coming through. Okay. They do have an ego and they defend themselves by saying that they are just competent but in actuality i am picking up that they can be quite cocky with this king of pentacles energy somebody who's very cocky somebody who is also very fruitful when it comes to their money and their business as well and your person talking about business they work extremely hard but I'm also seeing in my mind's eye that this person does not work well with others. Alright, let's see what else I'm picking up on. What else am I picking up on? Okay, we have Archangel Raphael. Help to see the truth, call out, travel. And then we also have gossip, jealousy, envy, petty, attention seeker. And we also have messages, telepathic dreams, songs, animals. Okay, so going back to their business i am picking up that this person prefers to work independently rather than working underneath someone else so this is somebody who might venture into being an entrepreneur or a business owner um and with this gossip card it's really giving me that energy of being cautious of other people because they tend to gossip or they tend to start drama so your person can come off antisocial a lot of the times and if you give them a choice between going out or staying home, they would rather choose to stay at home. This is a home body. Which pile number two for you? I think you actually really enjoy that. I'm picking up here too. Pile number two. I almost called you pile number three. So you might have also been attracted to pile number three. Or there might be some type of relation between pile number two and pile number three for you. But this person does tend to focus on the little details instead of focusing on the bigger picture. And I'm seeing that they have an amazing eye for detail. There's a lot of birds in the Page of Swords card and also a bird in the Queen of Swords. So this is somebody that has a keen eye for detail and can really focus on those minor details. But because they focus on the minor details, they tend to forget to look at the bigger picture. So just be weary of that. I'm also seeing that they are ever changing and ever growing. So expect your future spouse to always change up their looks often. Uh, you will not catch your future spouse with the same hairstyle because they always like trying new things. With this king of pentacles here this is the strongest energy that's coming through right now for me despite all the cards here and this person is presenting themselves to have a duality with their feminine energy but also their masculine energy so i am seeing here it's like they have this strong strong confidence this strong cockiness this is somebody who's like um talks the talk but then they can also walk the walk and back it up okay back it up so this is somebody who likes to look nice dress nice um they also smell nice and they do like the finer things in life i'm also picking up that they are a bit of a rebel so they hate following people's orders like they don't like following what p other people say or what other people do this person likes to venture out and do their own thing so you're dealing with somebody that has a strong personality and they also have a really good head on their shoulders as well let's go ahead with this angel here though something's coming through very strongly with this archangel raphael this person does have a strong affiliation with god's source so they are strongly dedicated to their religion or their spirituality let's go ahead and pull some more cards let's see what else we get in regards to your future spouse's personality 
We have in future weeks, months, timing. Hmm. Pile number two. I am hearing a channeled message. This person has a hard time making up their mind. So in the future, this person will be making up their mind a lot sooner than what you expected. We have air sign showing up. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have poison. Toxic behaviors. Unhealthy people. Okay, so in the future, like I said, this person's going to be making up their mind of something that they were a bit of indecision about. I'm seeing this person struggles with thinking too much about their past and past experiences which can get them mentally stuck so for you pal number two there's gonna need to be some gentleness and also some patience on your end i'm also seeing with this poison and this toxic behavior unhealthy people your person has a very beautiful aura so they tend to attract a lot of unhealthy and rude people See, the thing is with your person, a lot of people tend to flock to them because of their beautiful shining aura. It's kind of like moths drawn to a flame. So because of that, this person attracts people that do not have their best interests at heart. And they tend to let other people, what they say, get to them. Especially with the gossip card here and the air sign and the messages which can be very toxic for them. So I'm picking up for you, pile number two. You're going to be very protective over this person. You're going to make sure that anyone that comes around their energy means well and isn't trying to hurt them. Let's see what else we can get. Just a few more messages on the personality of your future spouse. That high priestess card is really screaming out to me so ooh, and as i said that okay your person has a very big life purpose huge life purpose i'm seeing that this person is destined to have some type of fame or some type of popular recognition where they're spreading their messages i'm just seeing somebody with a public platform of some type being out there, being online where other people can see them and witness them and hear what they have to say. So your person has a big personality and also a big purpose in life. Pile number two, one last message. You might have felt like I was describing you, but that's because you and your person mirror each other so closely because after all, you guys are mirrored souls. And that high priestess card showing up there, it shows the yin and yang energy so yin and yang can be very significant to you as well i'm also picking up too that a lot of you really enjoyed this message that i delivered if you did don't forget to like the video okay so now it's time to go ahead and move on to our next topic which is going to be looking at what does the current connection look like between you both right now all right pile number two let's dive in deeper and let's see what does the current connection look like between pile number two and the future spouse right now in this very moment? Okay, this page of pentacles flipped out at me like a crazy fish. Ooh, very nice. Ace of cups. So, so far we have the eight of cups in reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse, the ace of cups upright get a few more cards we have the moon card coming out which i really like to see let's get a few more the four of pentacles the seven of swords with the two of swords in reverse and at the very bottom of the deck we have the devil in the reverse position okay pile number two so it's very clear to me already this is a forbidden love story this is a forbidden love this is that type of story where you both love each other so much but you shouldn't i'm also picking up that there is a lot of roadblocks in this connection which it makes it seem like there's no forward progression in this either 
because of all those roadblocks in the way. I don't really like this Four of Pentacles being here because that's what's um, explaining a lot of the roadblocks in the way. The Moon card to me really symbolizes deeper hidden psychic messages. So this connection is primarily based on the psychic connection. This is more so a connection that takes place in the 5D or in the astral realms. So that is how you are communicating with your person, getting more in tune with your person and in touch with your person. I'm also picking up that your person is very psychic as well. They have a strong intuition. So the both of you are psychic and the both of you have been blessed with some strong intuition. I just looked up at the timer and I saw 222. That is the angel number of love. So there is undoubtedly a lot of love here there's a lot of judgment from others in this connection or i'm picking up that there will be a lot of judgment for this connection in the far future um but there's one undeniable fact here and that there's just so much love there's so much love with the ace of cups but there is no profession of love there's no proclaiming that love yet and I'm strongly picking up that you both want to come towards each other, but like I was saying, all the roadblocks, there's just a lot that is standing in the way. I'm also seeing pile number two, that there's a lot of stalking and checking up with each other in secret. More so picking up that this could be taking place online. So a lot of like checking on social medias, asking mutual friends about each other but this is very secretive and like very under wraps this is something that you both don't want anyone to uncover there's also a lot of subliminal messages being exchanged between the both of you as well we do have that initial coming through again we have the initial w or you can take that as the initial M showing up one more time. This is like that story of Romeo and Juliet where they just really wanted to be together but their families didn't want to see them come together or there's a lot of roadblocks and in that way that could be very similar for the both of you. Ooh, and this is very strong message coming through for me as well but the both of you are very worried that this may never happen that this relationship may never come into a, a period of reconciliation so at this point you both are very concerned that reconciliation isn't even in the cards for you i'm picking up that you both have an appetite for each other you both are incredibly hungry for each other and i'm also seeing something significant will occur okay during the upcoming winter months or even the fall months okay and that situation that's going to be coming forward i am seeing that will help to alleviate some anxiety about these roadblocks because there will be a roadblock that will be removed during that time a huge roadblock that was standing in the way of this connection because there's multiple okay there's about a total of five different roadblocks that's standing in the way of this connection during the winter or the fall months something significant will happen and one of the roadblocks will be taken away and that will help to progress things forward and it will help a lot of anxiety to just be relieved on both ends let's see what else i can get what else i can get Ooh, look at that we have online looking for you information and records very bottom of the deck we have hiding social media fake profile can i see you just like how i was mentioning before so there is that stalking going on you both are incredibly hungry you both have that appetite so even though it is forbidden you both can't help but to be in love and being in love a part of that is making sure that the person that you love is okay or that they're safe and i'm seeing that that's what you and your person do okay let's dive in deeper let's see what else we can get 
Archangel Raphael is really guiding this connection because this is another time that we see Archangel Raphael come through. So I wouldn't be surprised if you or your person are really tied to your angels, to your ancestors, to your spirit team. Not only that, but also very connected to Source as well. So going back to the Romeo and the Juliet situation, the family ties in this, they really stand in the way of this connection coming together. There's certain responsibilities or prior commitments that are serving as big issues in this connection, not just for one of you, but for the both of you. I'm also picking up that the divine masculine in this connection is very desperate and is praying that their divine feminine will wait for them. Uh, they have like a specific angel that they talk to. It could be Archangel Raphael. Um, it could be any of the Archangels really. Or even God's source where this Divine Masculine is praying to and praying that their Divine Feminine will have some type of patience for them and won't move on. You know, pa ooh, there is the Divine Feminine showing up. Intuition, nurturing, emotion, uplifting. We also have fire, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And there was a card that wanted to show underneath this one. I'm not sure if the camera caught that. But yep, there it is. We have winter. It's a surprise. Sag energy. And we also have mirrored souls, twin flames, the one reconnect. Very bottom of that, we have a door admire looks up to you enchanted love we also have genuine love to me you are perfect but oh water sign interesting we have that showing up with entrapment so entrapment money pregnancy clinging heartstrings with water sign and underneath the water sign we had fake come out pretending living beyond means and reality okay pile number two there is a water sign who is very jealous of this connection and they feel heavily threatened by the relationship that you two have and this is just going back to the fall months another message i'm getting you both will be undergoing a spiritual transformation during the fall months which will make you extremely tired and groggy but this is helping the both of you to get that reconciliation that you wish for I'm also getting something really sweet. You two make each other so happy. And if only there was an obstacle standing in the way, you both would experience nirvana with each other. I just have to say this, pile number two, you are watching this because this is going to be a reading about your future spouse. So eventually you will get into union, but it is going to be difficult because the both of you have to close out certain repetitive obstacles that inhibit you from coming together. If you want reconciliation, it will have to be a team effort. You will have to work together. So um, this is definitely a relationship that is ordained by God's source. So those obstacles will be removed in divine timing and also with divine help as well. Um, I just feel like right now you both are trying to stay apart to avoid disaster. All right, so that was how the connection looks like right now and i do have a channeled love letter from your future spouse this letter is channeled from the future meaning that i will be reading from a, a period in time where in the timeline you are already married to this person so let's go ahead and get right into that letter we did it i knew we would finally get into union marrying you is the best decision of my life and i always knew it was going to be you the dreams I have of you always made me sure that we would get through the hard times, and we did. So here's what I can tell you about our future. We have a beautiful home that we worked hard for together. We travel a lot, and we live a life where it feels like we're always on vacation. We make love every night and never miss a moment to kiss each other. The haters that didn't want to see us together can kiss our rings. Sincerely with love, the love of your life. All right, pile number two. That was the letter from your future person, short, sweet, and to the point. If you are interested in hearing a longer channeled letter from your person in this current moment of time, you can go ahead and check out my extended. The link is always down below. And let's go ahead and get into the initials, and that's how we will close out your reading today. This does get very loud, so I will be removing the noise time now.
All right, pile number two. Here are the initials. I'm going to go ahead and start reading them. Bear with me as I read all these initials. We have F, M, T, J, M, D, Q, R, L, X, X, D, J, Y, O, N, I, V. That's spelled Yoni and DJ. N, J, Z, Z, N, N, Q, W, K, E, G, C, O, O, M, W, E, L, L. That spells well. H, A, T, M, S, Q, P, Z, L, X, M, C, H, U, D, Z, B, T, F, F, and X. All right. Pile number two. That was your reading. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for coming to my channel. On your screen, I have a bunch of different information as to how you can watch the extended. In the extended, I will be getting deeper into a channeled message from your person right now in this moment. So what does your person want to say to you right now? You can either watch through my YouTube membership or through my Patreon subscription. It's entirely up to you. All the links for that are down below. Also, in the extended, I will be showing you the images of your future spouse that I was channeling. So, if you're interested, again, all links are down below. My social media information is also on the screen for you as well. It is going to be my Instagram account. It's the only Instagram account I have at Sugar and Wine. If you are interested in getting a personal reading done by me, personal readings done by me are usually done through Zoom. Or if you want, I do have a pre-recorded option as well. My email address is on the screen for you. You can go ahead and send me a message, ask me what my rates are, and we can have a conversation about what you need clarity on. So honeys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. And like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye! Hi pile number three, welcome to my channel and welcome to your pile. In today's reading, we are going to be uncovering your future spouse. My name is B, and we're going to get this reading started by describing you as a viewer. If I do an accurate job, then that's how you know you chose the right pile today. So pile number three, I am going to show you a larger image of what you chose on your screen. And let's get started by describing you. Okay, pile number three, it could have been very possible that you were attracted to some of the other piles. I'm seeing pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three could have all really grabbed your attention. Possible that we have a couple of you that watched all the way through. But if you recall to any other pile, here's your sign. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. So your energy, pile number three, is an energy that is carrying a lot of sadness, uh, carrying a lot of suffering and a lot of confusion as well. I think that right now there's a tumultuous period in your life that's going down where you're having a lot of destruction of old foundations that no longer work for you. I can see in your image there is this energy of going back to the past of the things that used to make you happy and trying to find every type of way to get in touch with that happy side of you again because right now you are very sad i'm also seeing you could have an earth sign placement somewhere in your birth chart that would be taurus virgo or capricorn and i'm sensing that there's been a lot of tears that have shed as well during this time in your life so this is a very sad and very difficult time for you but just know that all things are not permanent and this will pass too you will not stay stuck in this energy for the rest of your life this shall pass this shall move forward and everything is going to be okay i just feel like telling you that i feel like this pile definitely could use a very big hug big warm hug a good pat on the back to remind you that the way that you're navigating through life is the best that you can do and you shouldn't punish yourself for the things that you can't do. 
um, some advice that I want to give you for this particular pile, which I feel like you could really use it. If it is something that you do not have any control over, then you should not stress about it. If there is nothing you can do about the situation, if there is nothing that you can change, if there's nothing that's under your control in this situation, then it should not occupy your mind space. Because I feel like right now your mind is in a very sad and negative spot. And the more that you focus on the things that you can't do or the things that you should be doing but you can't do it, um, or feeling really bad about yourself for the things that you can't do but you know you have to do, the more you are hard on yourself, the worse of an experience you're going to have during this time. So again, if it's something that you cannot control, be sure to let that go. Be sure to allow yourself to just feel. And I'm also picking up too, it's something here about your childhood, going back to your childhood memories or even watching childhood movies as well, trying to find your source of happiness again, that is going to help you. It's going to help to create more of a balance in your life and remind you of all the reasons of why you should smile and be happy. Let's go ahead and dive deeper. Your energy is a little closed off, so I am going to be using some cards to dive deeper into giving you more synchronicities about if this is your pile or not. Okay, we have pause. Divine timing. Timing factor. Trust your angels. At the very bottom, we have rage. So angry. Ready to explode. Blame. Let's get some more tarot cards on this to give you more confirmation. But I am seeing there is that confirmation. You're just going through a hard time. And Spirit is really saying, allow yourself to not be so angry with you. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody goes down the wrong path at some point. We cannot be perfect. That's why we are human. We come here to make mistakes. We come here to learn. And the more that you beat yourself up about the things that you cannot change... The more that you think about the past and telling yourself, oh, like, if only I didn't do this or if only I did this, like, you're causing more pain in yourself that doesn't need to be there. We have the Ace of Cups. All right. So, oof, with the Three of Swords, I feel like the the advice that I gave you, I almost said device. So some of you really need to take a break from your phone get off your phone, get out more into the world, um, something about waiting for text messages to come through, something about wondering if you should send that text. Pile number three, this is your sign to get off that cell phone. It is causing you anxiety, it's causing you worry and pain. I do feel like you're learning a lot from karmic situations. I feel like this pile is definitely going through a time period in your life where you're looking at situations that are karmic and pulling yourself out of that because you know it is not good for you and it does not serve your highest good either. So pulling yourself away from that cell phone is going to help you out so much. Going out into the sun, going out into the world. Um, enjoying some more fun times you deserve to still have fun despite the mistakes that you've made and despite the mistakes that maybe others have made that have hurt you both intentionally and unintentionally so this is a moment in time for you to practice forgiveness practice forgiveness i know that you're very angry at somebody i know that they hurt you and they broke your heart i know that they made you feel really badly about yourself in divine timing this anger will subside and i'm seeing that this pain and sadness will also turn into nothing but love and understanding and forgiveness so go through the motions of your emotions then allow yourself to feel allow yourself to be upset angry or sad allow yourself to feel that way but you don't need to beat yourself up if that makes sense forgive yourself so that you can forgive others as well all right, now let's go ahead and dive deeper and let's see anything else that I'm picking up to give you any more confirmation that this is going to be your pile. Um, nope, that's about it. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm picking up. You know what? One more thing I'm picking up in your past life. I am seeing that you were an old soul and there is something about royalty being here. So I wouldn't be surprised if for this pile you were royalty in one of your past lives okay pile number three 
If I described you accurately, including your situation and you as a person and your emotions, then you are in the right pile today. I have a strong feeling that this pile is going to pick you up, lift you up, bring up your spirits and make you happy again. Um, you're just going to find some great resolution within this pile because I do feel like there's a lot of sadness when it comes to relationships. I think that for you when it comes to relationships and romantic connections you've had a very hard time it has not been an easy road for you it's actually been like a broken road filled with a lot of heartbreak and pain and dealing with karmics and being confused because you thought that person was your twin flame and now you're realizing they were not your twin flame they were your false twin flame and just having that energy but i do have to say that this person that i was channeling your future spouse they are your twin flame or if you know you're not a twin flame or you don't like the word we're just going to be using the word mirrored soul this person is your mirrored soul okay all right pile number three i almost called you pile number one let's go ahead and let's pull some physical descriptions of your future spouse this could be anything we could get anything we could get numbers we could get messages from spirit to you we could get encouragement we could also get messages from your person to you as well um and then we can get some physical descriptions like what their face looks like what their body type is stuff like that so let's get right into it let's start shuffling i have a strong feeling that the intro made a lot of you feel better um, I don't think that you were expecting me to describe your situation. I don't even think you were expecting me to pull out some tarot cards to give you advice on your situation either. Oh, look at that, pile number three. We have heartbroken. So just as much as you are heartbroken, your mirrored soul is also heartbroken as well, okay? Guys, forgive me. I have some really long nails. I just got my nails done. I'm so trying to get used to them. So forgive me when I'm trying to pull out the words. These words are so tiny. Okay, so we have heartbroken. We have flannels. Now keep in mind, I am describing your mirrored soul, right? So sometimes when that happens, you could feel like I'm describing you. But just keep in mind, I'm not describing you. I am describing your person. It could just sound very similar to you because you are mirrored souls. Okay. Eyeliner. The number 22. Star-crossed lovers. Designer brands. Religious not employed confident father figure we have a message from them to you do you care about me sneakers you care about each other but won't say it round eyes black hair down to earth seductive white teeth antisocial taurus small they hate you right now out of ego rectangle face shape dependable heavy lower lip I'm not good for you that was a message from them to you well dressed quiet voice jealous prideful cheerful 999 piercings we have the word daddy athlete we also have a written message you triggered them and they can't stand it 
look at that we have twin flame coming out okay so you got the twin flame card angel stand with you tattoos all right, so pile number three, there's a very specific message coming through for your pile. And this is the only pile that this has happened. But I am picking up here that you could be looking at these messages and it's almost as though you're hearing about two different people, right? So that could be the case. You could be hearing about two different people. You could be hearing about an ex of yours that's also being described. But that's because this person is still heavily in your energy because of the tumultuous relationship you had with them it's still having a heavy toll on you so this could be like an ex um, or like an ex situationship that you have recently departed from and you're you know hearing the descriptions and sometimes it sounds like two different people if that sounds like you here's your confirmation you are being heard and the reason for that happening is because they're so heavily in your energy smart so at this time use your best discernment to decipher who is who okay flats we have tall five six to six two i'm gonna have to start overlapping pretty soon because we have a bunch nurse cancer soulmate ten ten so it could be very possible that you were dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame we have the word tube top Hard times will pass. That's a message from your angels to you. We also have karmic showing up here as well. Karmic. Kind. Spiteful. Unique birthmark. Earth angel. So the thing is, is a lot of you are asking, you know, why would the old person show up in a reading that's about your future spouse so some of you could have been married to an ex person as well and that's why they're also showing up maybe some of you are also going through a divorce process right now too that could also be showing up as well studious customer service 11 military big smile golden brown hair judgmental tired ethereal beauty thick ponytail diamond face shape respectful loud talker cloudy a free spirit fearless one two three tatted almond eyes loving the number six big lips this is a sign from your spirit guides you are on the right path the number six 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 then after that we have toxic run loyal easy going starstruck unique the number eight 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 sexual virgo passionate and we have one more that fell over it is going to be mother figure we have both father and mother figure to show up okay so pile number three that was the description of your future spouse but also some lingering energy that's still in your energy too okay so there's definitely two people could even be three people that are being described two exes and your future spouse an ex and your future spouse um so take whatever resonates for you because i am seeing that you are going through some type of healing phase right now of letting go of the past and that's why it's showing up all right, pile number three, let's go ahead and start getting into describing the personality of your future spouse. So let's see what type of personality your future spouse has. Really sorry to hear that you're going through a hard time, pile number three, but like I said, maybe chilling here for a little bit will make you feel a lot better. Also, just this reading of knowing that there is a future for you. There is somebody that's out there that is planning to love you we have the planning card planning meeting discussing how where obsessed can't stop thinking about you must have delicious 
coming and going, the wonder wheel, emotions unsure back around. And then we have spring, rebirth, growth, divine timing. Okay, very interesting personality. Um, pile number three, I am seeing that this person is crushing on you really big right now, okay? So you have this person that's crushing on you. This is somebody who's quite studious. This is somebody who likes things to be, I'm hearing, perfect, perfect, perfect. So they like things to be well organized. They also like to plan out their day. I am seeing a notepad and this person holding a pin in this image here so this person not only likes to plan out their day but they also like to write about their day too and their experiences we have obsessed so they can have a bit of an obsessive personality i am seeing that this is somebody who does a lot of reflecting they do a lot of looking in the past and there's nothing wrong with that because I'm seeing the way this person looks in the past is actually very healthy. This person likes to look at the past and they like to see how much they've grown. Now, this person does have some body dysmorphia that they struggle with. I'm seeing that that's in their personality. They can also be quite fun and flirty, especially with you. This person loves flirting with you, pile number three. I'm seeing that this person, their obsessive personality has them uh, being very obsessed with food, but they also have this infatuation with you as well. So because they are obsessive, this person has done quite a lot of research on you. I'm sure you are already aware because your intuition has been telling you this about this person but yes they do have this obsession when it comes to you i'm also seeing they've already conversed with their friends about you too talking about how much they're into you this person does feel like a big old fool for you yeah as i said that we got this cute ace of cups coming out and i'm sure I'm almost positive that you could hear the, how that card just fell right out of my deck. I wish I caught that on camera because it's really cute. But the way the card just flipped, it like folded right on top of my little laptop that's right next to me. And it's adorable the way that this person feels for you. It's interesting because I want to start talking about their personality, but this person wants to start talking about how they feel about you. So when I'm diving deeper into their personality there's like this block here because this person's like no 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 I, enough about me i want to talk about my person <laughs> i want to talk about how i feel about pile number three so they are a big lover and they are a hopeless romantic i am seeing that this person is very romantic especially when it comes to their words they know how to write things down very easily I'm also seeing that this person has wrote down a lot of things about you already so they could have this little dream journal or diary journal scribbling your name in it and scribbling out how they feel about you um this person could have also drew a picture of you too i am seeing somebody on their phone with a picture of you and just drawing on their notepad so you will catch this person oftentimes with paper in hand a pen also in hand scribbling something down okay let's dive deeper and let's see what else we can get on their personality we do have this queen of swords showing up so i am seeing that this person really loves to use their vocal um chakra their throat chakra to communicate this is somebody who thinks very intensely I'm also picking up they could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now, that placement doesn't have to be their sun. It could be their Venus in particular, but it could also be their rising, their moon, and even their Mars as well. Their Mercury placement too. Keep an eye out for that. They tend to get stuck in analysis paralysis, which is an energy where they think so much about something and they instead of taking action they get stuck on thinking about it too much and nothing gets done so big warning this person can be a bit of a procrastinator 
especially when it comes to giving you an offer with the page of pentacles this person does have a career it is a good job is what i'm seeing but they are a baby starting out so this person still has so much to learn and so much to grow so much room and opportunity to expand their knowledge in their career let's dive deeper into their personality this person loves to sleep they love to get a lot of rest uh, especially because their mind just goes and goes and goes and they can't stop thinking half the time i'm seeing this person their mind is like a big old ball of energy so there's a lot going on in this person's crown chakra they're constantly thinking new ideas actually the more i tap into this person's energy the more i'm starting to get like a headache um, on the right side of my head so this person they could complain about getting headaches quite often i'm also seeing them wear glasses too this person could wear glasses sometimes they are guilty of not wearing their glasses which makes them get headaches very interesting let's dive even deeper into their personality and let's see what else we can get Ooh, we have divine masculine authority protects provides and then we also have frustration frustrated blocked trapped locked up okay so this person can have a bit of a temper pile number three i am seeing that their temper can kind of flare sometimes but it would never be towards you it would actually be in terms of protecting you this person is very protective so they wouldn't allow anyone to get close to your energy if they didn't mean you well i'm seeing too that this person has some bit of self-reflection issues they do need to learn how to self-reflect better especially when we have this hermit card here in reverse they really need to sit down and do some more self-reflection when it comes to who they are as an individual and what they want to be i still feel like this person is very confused about their career choice there's something here about them having a job and it's a really good job but they're just not sure if they want to stay in that position forever so there's some energy here of wanting to step out and explore get out there more and see all the opportunities that they have right before them so that they're not stuck in this energy of um, being in just one place for too long so this person doesn't like that they don't like to be stuck as i say that we have the world card we have the death card and we also have the knight of wands i am seeing this person is going to make a career change very soon this could give you more of an idea of who this person is they're already thinking about leaving their job to find some type of success uh ooh, very interesting message but i'm also picking up this person might think about being an entrepreneur or to create some type of product and sell it on the market um, even if that that product that they're selling is just themselves putting themselves out there on a specific platform and sharing themselves with the world so this person's already thinking about it and that's a really big indicator on who this person is i'm seeing here um two this person really does suffer with headaches pile number three that's like a big message so be on the lookout for anyone that's complaining about their head hurting or their headaches hurting we do have some pisces energy showing up here as well and i'm also picking up leo energy too i'm also seeing sagittarius showing up and i am seeing cancer virgo is also here present as well so they could have any of those placements in their birth chart don't forget the air signs we do have quite a lot of air signs showing up gemini libra or aquarius anywhere in their birth chart that could be their sun their rising their moon their venus their mercury or their mars okay all right so that is their personality and let's go ahead and step into looking at what does the current connection look like between you and your future spouse all right pile number three now it's time for us to go ahead and see what does the connection look like between the both of you so let's find out let's see what does the connection look like between pile number three and their future spouse right now in this very moment we have the two of swords coming out 
with the three of cups upright the lovers we have the two of wands one more card Ooh, we have the moon so there is some unfinished business here with this person i am seeing that there is some type of romantic connection that was supposed to start between the both of you but there were some roadblocks in the way they got in the way it was very intense i'm seeing when you first met this individual it was a very intense first meeting there was a lot of heavy eye contact there was also a lot of heavy um, intuition between the both of you so right now the way that the connection stands is this person is planning a way to come back i am seeing that this is why this person is showing up as a secret admirer for you somebody who is heavily craving you intensely they could also be craving you in secret as well especially with that moon card this person oh i just split the deck and we have mirrored souls twin flames the one and reconnect and we also have desire lust fantasy sexual chemistry and appetite so for sure this person is heavily craving you and you are also heavily craving this person there is a lot of back and forth hot and cold energy that i am channeling however for the both of you let's go ahead and dive in deeper and let's see what else i can find for what the connection looks like between the both of you right now in this very moment we have spiritual awakening ascension higher self and then we also have pop-up unexpected visit spontaneous decision and surprise so you both are definitely going through some type of spiritual awakening the both of you but i am picking up that this person with this pop-up card unexpected visit yeah this person pile number three they are planning to pop up and surprise you i think that you'd be very surprised i am really strongly channeling that you are just gonna wake up one day and you are going to have an unexpected text message from this person it's going to be when you least expect this to happen that that's when it's going to happen let's dive deeper and let's see what does the connection look like between the two of you unfinished business with the world card and death okay if i keep drawing i feel like the message is just going to get very repetitive because i feel like at this point in time you know who this person is you already know as soon as i said unfinished business you were like yup i know who that is and then we have the mirrored souls coming out with the desire card this is heavily heavily picking up the energy here of i'm not finished yet and i will be coming back so let's go ahead and let's start pulling some loving messages from this person and let's see what do they have to say after we pull some loving messages i will also be pulling some initials but before i do that i will be reading a letter from your future spouse to you to close out this reading so we got a lot still to look forward to let's go ahead and let's start pulling on some loving messages from your person okay we have i admire your kindness to everyone you meet you make a difference in this world your humble nature is your crown you're not crazy i feel it too i'm like a moth drawn to your flame I want to take you to a place only we know to find peace and clarity. Our love is divine. I'm in love with your face. Every feature was carefully sculpted by God. No one can compare. Ooh, my third party knows about you and they are pissed. I was caught looking, stalking, talking to you, hashtag, in trouble. So there's some forbidden love energy here, where this person feels like they're craving you, but they also feel like they shouldn't be. I see you in my dreams. I try to talk to you in them, but you always walk away. I try to find you, but I can't get to you. 
Let me love you. Sounds like a silly thing to ask. The others in your past have had their chance. Please take a chance on me. I see myself when I look at you. Your eyes pierce right through my soul. You see me and it makes me feel vulnerable. One more message. I trust you. Do you trust me? Even if the answer is yes, I will earn your trust. You can count on me. All right, it's time to go ahead and get into the letter from your future spouse. So, to my beautiful, today, as I sit and reflect upon the incredible journey that has brought us together, my heart overflows with gratitude and joy. It feels like only yesterday when our paths first crossed, and little did I know that moment would forever change the course of our lives. In your presence, I find a sanctuary, a place where I am accepted and loved unconditionally. From the very beginning, you have been guiding my light, my confidant, and the one who completes me in every way possible. Our love is a bond that transcends time and space, weaving together the threads of our souls into a tapestry of compassion, trust, and endless understanding. As I envision the life we will build together, I see a future brimming with love, laughter, and a deep sense of harmony. Each passing day, I am reminded of just how blessed I am to embark on this sacred journey with you. For it is in your strength, your kindness, and your nurturing spirit that I find solace and purpose. I cherish the way you hold my hand, grounding me amidst life's uncertainties. Your gentle touch brings warmth to my soul, filling my being with a sense of security that I have never known before. In your tender embrace, I find a heaven from the chaos of the world, a place where time stands still and where our love flourishes effortlessly. Together we will navigate life's milestones with grace and determination. Through every sunrise and sunset, we will stand hand in hand facing the world as a united force, ready to conquer any obstacle that may come our way. Our love isn't just a bond, it is a fortress that shields us from life's hardships, fortifying us with strength to withstand any storm. My beautiful, my love, I promise to always listen to you, to nurture your dreams, and to support you unconditionally. I promise to hold your hand, to cherish each moment spent with you, for it is in this union of spirits that we find the magic that fuels our love. Our marriage will be a symphony of two souls, dancing gracefully to the rhythm of life, forever intertwined and harmoniously synchronized. Together, we will create a home filled with warmth and laughter where love reigns as the foundation upon which we build our lives. In my heart, I am eternally grateful for the love we share, for the love that led us here. Our love is a gift, my love, a gift I cherish with every breath I take. So, my beautiful, my darling, let us embark on this incredible journey together, hand in hand, heart in heart. Let us create a love story that will stand the test of time, a story that we will proudly share with generations to come. I am yours, forever grateful for the gift of your love. With all my love, your future spouse. All right, so that was the future spouse letter to you. And let's go ahead and get into the initials. But before I do that, I want to talk about the extended really quickly. So in the extended, I do have a channel the letter from your person to you right now in this current moment. Instead of looking at the future, we'll look at this moment, what they want to say to you now. Also, something really cool about the extended pile number three is in the extended, I do have images of what your future spouse may or may not look like okay so we have two images for the divine masculine and two images for the divine feminine that i was channeling if you're interested all the links are down below and let's go ahead and get into the initials all right pile number three here are the initials and let's go ahead and get right into them so we have h v m b a g w c n m j b t t d l f q f e e l that spells the word feel x z o q p z u d g x k j i j p f m c h r n z 
O V H M M H. All right, pile number three, that was your reading. Hi there, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for coming to my channel. On your screen, I have a bunch of different information as to how you can watch the extended. In the extended, I will be getting deeper into a channeled message from your person right now in this moment. So what does your person want to say to you right now? You can either watch through my YouTube membership or through my Patreon subscription. It's entirely up to you. All the links for that are down below. Also in the extended, I will be showing you the images of your future spouse that I was channeling. So if you're interested, again, all links are down below. My social media information is also on the screen for you as well. It is going to be my Instagram account. It's the only Instagram account I have at Sugar and Wine. If you are interested in getting a personal reading done by me, personal readings done by me are usually done through Zoom. Or if you want, I do have a pre-recorded option as well. My email address is on the screen for you. You can go ahead and send me a message, ask me what my rates are, and we can have a conversation about what you need clarity on. So honeys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. And like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye!